Hi, and welcome to Cardpresso. In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to apply a database photo into your cards and manipulate it. On a previous tutorial, we have connected my Cardpresso business card to the Cardpresso employee database. Now, we will use the same card template and database to apply and manipulate photos. To start, let's click on the open button. As you can see, the card template is already there. Now, click on the card template image and click OK. Now, we are on the working screen with our templates on the main view and as automatically connected to the database. It's time to start working on our photo image. On the database tab, on the right of your screen, right click with the cursor on the photo. Now, on the photo properties box, change the data type to index it image, like this. Then click on this button and show the folder where you keep the photo's images. Then click OK and OK again. All you have to do now is refresh database connection. Click on the close button and click on the refresh button like this. As you can see, the photo image appear on the photo field on the properties tab. And below it is a name. This name has to be a match to our image file name. That allows Cardpress to identify our image. Now we have to define the location of the photos on the card. To do that, let's use the drag and drop. Left click on the image or on the title and drag it to the desired location. For you to see, let's scroll a little through the database. Even with these images attached to the database, Cardpresso allows you to change their properties, like a standalone image. To check this possibility, let's change these colored images to grayscale images. To do that, click on the image of any record. As you can see, the properties tab has changed and check the grayscale box, like this. See? The photo also changed. Go to the scroll buttons and start scrolling through the database records. All images have changed. As you can see, now the setup of the card is finished, connected to an Excel database and with the personal photos. Simple, isn't it? Like everything else in Cardpresso. All you have to do now is save your work by pressing the save button here. On the next tutorial, we'll teach you how to work with several card layouts on the same database. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you for choosing Cardpresso and goodbye.